previously on balls. So how's two and four co sanctioned events or European events during the year? <laughs> Beverly Hills no call. Hey Brandon, Darren and the balls team, how's it going, buddy? Very good and you. Alright, thanks. There's a nice little view over the Indian Ocean there, or have you got hey. no view because it's raining? No, I've got a view, it's um, cleared up a little bit, <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> Jeez, boss, the year you've had, I mean, you don't get much better hotels in the country than that. But you, have you ever tried the Oyster Box? I haven't, I haven't, I've heard about it. Oh. Um, it's just, you know, at the, at the time you, you go where they tell you to go, so... Okay. Uh, <laughs> Say, it's no, like it's a, right. There's a couple of good guys. It's about a six, yeah, so 60 degree matter. wedge for you from where you are right now. <laughs> yeah, it's almost a, you can throw a, a golf ball in. Yeah. yeah. All right, boss, uh, listen, thanks for chatting to us. They rained out today, we believe, at the uh, Nelson Mandela. The yeah, they did. It. Um, yeah, it's been sopping wet, eh? Um, it's just uh, the golf course is so wet and things, so, we, you know, we hopefully we get started tomorrow, but not looking too good. I think if they get a little bit more rain, you know, it might be, this, this week might be cut short. Yeah. Do you carry AccuWeather on your phone to check, like, the, the, the weather conditions ahead for the next four days or anything? I do, like? I do. I've actually, I put on the phone uh, two days ago just to, or actually not two days, yesterday, just to get a more, a little bit more of a view about what's going to happen and, and I know it's not looking too great. I know today was one of the, the rougher days, ex couple, but, um, like I said, you know, this, this course has been through a lot, so it's, it is very wet out there. So yeah. hopefully it, it dries out and the sun comes out for a day like yesterday, and then, you know, we never know what can, what can happen. At Gravel, they, uh, you just got to look at the horse race uh, track around you and see the, the going sign there. It'll probably say heavy at the moment. It'll yeah, be the same yeah, for the yeah, golf yeah. course as well. I'm just checking the 15-day forecast the next four days. Yay, yay, yay. Um, yeah, it's, not just, looking. It's, it's just raining. Actually, no, it says Thursday on minus, it's 26 degrees thunderstorm, Friday, tw- uh, Saturday and Sunday. Oh, no, Sunday no, and Sunday. No, be lot careful. Of rain. Last time you did this, you were looking in Hillcrest. No, no, I went yeah. to Durban this time. <laughs> careful. <laughs> careful. Yeah, not the sharpest tool, eh? <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was silly. Um, but yeah, I see, it's actually, you're probably going to get some golfing tomorrow and Friday and Saturday. They say no rain at all, just 27 degrees and partly cloudy. So hopefully it stays that way and you will be able yeah, to get on the course. Yeah. Especially as this is a very special tournament. I mean, some big names coming out, apart from the golfers, obviously, to be part of the program. So sorry for them today. But, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. the first Nelson Mandela, what a what a great tournament. We hope it does get on course. Yeah, we do. Um, it's been great. You know, I would have had the, the opportunity to play with the vendor, um, uh, the boxer today. Holyfield, yeah. Uh, Holyfield, which would have been great. Um, so, but um, we've got a little thing on on tonight, so I'll still get the opportunity to meet him. But you know, to get back to the event, it's you know it's always special if Mr. Mandela puts his name to something. Mm. So um, it's nice that you know he's chosen a golf event, and you know we're in the in the in the position that we can go ahead and support something like that. So yeah. um, it's all for a good cause. So so it's just great. It's a great week so far, and um, like I said, hopefully we can go ahead and and, and tee it off tomorrow. Uh, do you know if Mr. Mandela is going to be there tonight at uh, this, this thing you're going to? I've actually got no idea. So, um, you know, hopefully he will be. But um, I know he's, he's, he's probably very busy and, and things like that. So I don't think he travels that no, much anymore. He doesn't travel anymore at all, well, no. Maybe he might, you know, he does do the odd trip here or this. Might have a little video one. message for the guys. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, you never know. But if, it, if, if he will be, you know, then it will be very special. But um, otherwise, you know, just having his name in, a, in an event like this or with the event like this is, is pretty special. Yeah. And uh, it's almost time to enter into Brandon Grace Corner, hey? This is where it, it's almost time when you when it all started for you last year. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's, um, I can't believe the time's flown so quickly. You know, yeah. last year this time I was just heading back home after tour school and, uh, <laughs> I mean, everybody's saw, seen what, what's happened so far this year. But, uh, yeah, it's been great. It's just, um, I know next year's going to be a really hectic year again with all new experiences and things like that. But it's, um, it's, it's something I'm looking forward to and, and things like that. So it's, um, it's awesome. What was your budget for the year this year at this time last year? Obviously, golfers <laughs> budget for where they can go and what they're going to need to make to get to the next tournament, etc. <laughs> What's the budget now versus um, what it was like a few months later? I don't really know what it was in, in South Africa, to be honest. Um, I had a guy that was helping me out, and we were thinking, you know, it's going to be pretty much about 400 to 500,000 rand for, for the year traveling in, in Europe and, uh, and things like that. 
but um, obviously that's changed. But that was that was that was on the on the challenge to it. You know, if I didn't get my car, that was on the challenge to it. So um, I'm I'm still waiting to get all the figures for this year. I don't know if I really want to see them. <laughs> 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 but it's uh, it's one of those things. At least it's, at least it's been a great year and things have gone my way. So um, it's, it's one one of the the things I least worry about. And tell us, Brandon, have you have you bought anything significant with your cash? And the reason why I ask you that is because obviously we know Louis bought himself a tractor. And then I spoke to Dave Usendorf the other day and he said George Kutsia who obviously had a, had a fantastic year hasn't won on the European Tour yet but he's made a lot of money comes back and buys himself a polo <laughs> yeah I probably see Georgie Georgie is looking for something else <laughs> what have you bought a polo, but uh, yeah I, I bought myself a, a car after my, my second win um I bought a, a Mercedes, a C63 AMG. Nice, nice. A little beast, but uh, it's been great. Yeah, it's it's just fortunate I can be able to to, to buy something like that. So, yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, that's that's something I spoiled myself with, and you know, it's it's, it's been great. So, I hope you paid cash for that, eh? I drive it a lot. <laughs> Are they open just cash? <laughs> Pardon? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Jesus, nice, eh? Really yes. can do that. Wow. Well, listen, you got some tournaments you're going to be defending soon. Yes. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Um, you know, it's obviously like there's a there's a lot of firsts for me this year, and this one of them was defending. So, um, you know, obviously we've we've got two more weeks this week in next week, which is pretty pretty big for us here in South Africa, and there's a lot riding on it. But uh, you know, Volvo's around the corner and and things like that. So it's it's always nice, and you know, I, I can't really say what it's going to feel like. So I'm looking forward to to seeing how how, we would, well, how everything is going to turn out before that event. So. It's going to be kind of weird for you because this time last year, you know few people knew who you were and I mean I guess if someone told you last year that this is what you'd achieve in one year you know you'd it would have, you would have said no ways but yeah, now you've got to go out and, and and defend all these titles there's expectation now yeah it is um, you know like I said you know after after the first win I thought geez this is a great year already and now and now it's five wins later and um, you know it's still it's still going you know we still got two events left for the season which is pretty crazy but um you know, it's going to be different. You know, I think um, it's nice knowing that now that I that I have won and that I can win, and you know, people see a different view of their eyes and and saying like maybe this kid can play and things like that. So, you know, it's just um, but all the support and things have been great. So, so that that helps not just from you know from from the from the public and things like that, but you know from a guy like Louis as well. You know, you know sticking there and you know giving you advice and, and things like that around the corner always helps. So um, I'm sure they'll they'll do the same when when I get to that. When I get to that time in, in January where we have to go and try and defend, and I'm sure you'll he'll give me a little bit of advice around the corner. Um, Brennan, if the conditions are bad to, there tomorrow, do you think that uh, it will favour the Europeans? They'll have a better chance than the South African guys? Um, not necessarily, I think. You know, I think South African golfers are really you know stepped it up the last couple of years. Um, I think now, you know, with the with the weather coming in and being as, as bad as it has been, I think it's just anybody's event. I think you know you can't really put your put yourself on a in somebody's favour, saying you know yeah. it might be mine or Georgie or any of the other big um, European names is weak. But um, I think now, you know, you never know what to expect, and I think it really just opened up opened up the event for the whole field. All right. Now, one thing you could do where you do have to up your game, Brendan. Pardon? One place you do have to up your game seriously. <laughs> Four-time winner on uh, European tour, big events, uh, climbing up the world golf rankings, and you only got six thousand followers on Twitter. And I know why. <laughs> Your last tweet was to George could see on the nineteenth of November. Uh, yeah, I know, man, but I, I'm still getting into it. So I mean, I'll get there eventually. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm just checking who's following you, yeah. And you got some people. You got people all over the world that are. Uh, I, I am letting them down a bit, so I'll, I'll probably have to get in, in the game a little bit more, but. Um, I'm working on it. It's just I'm not one of those guys that likes to say, okay, I'm going for dinner now. I'll, I'll chat to you later." You know, yeah, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm getting there. It's getting a little bit um, better, but um, it might take me a while. Right. Yeah, send Sam Hackner a tweet. He's following you as well. I see. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> How is he? Yeah, you're going to be playing. You're going to be playing in that uh, 20 Open, I'm sure, at, uh, at uh, Copper Leaf. So there we go. Send Sam a Sam a tweet saying you're looking forward to coming to Copper Leaf next year. <laughs> I will do, I will do. <laughs> awesome stuff. Listen, it's great to catch up with you again, Brandon. All the best. Hopefully you'll get out on the course. I'm sure you will uh, over the weekend. Yeah. And uh, we look forward to another great year for you, mate. Continue from strength to strength, bud. No, thanks a lot, man. Thanks. All the best. Thank man. you very much, Have Brandon. Good you Cheers. too. Cheers. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Right. Um, that's Brandon Grace. This is...
Balls Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate and John. Weekdays from 3pm to 6pm Central African Time. Balls.co.za